What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. This is the 2012 Porsche 911 GT3 RS 4.0. One of my favorite all-time Porsche 911 GT3 RS cars to date. Until we get the newer GT3 R next week. We have a GT3 RS from 23, but this is the only 4.0 car in existence in any Forza Horizon title, maybe Forza Motorsport. So, this thing has been tuned to over 670 horsepower. It weighs just under 3,000 pounds. I made it all wheel drive. And believe it or not, this is a special unlock because you need to have a certain number of Porsches in your garage to actually obtain this car. Now, that being said, I have not yet made a video about this particular vehicle yet, neither in FH4 or FH5. This will be the first one in FH5. If you are new to the channel, you want to see more crazy Porsche videos, or shorts, or whatever, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, share this video with your friends, and comment below your favorite part. Yes, on the camera just casually did that. So we're going to get out of here. And we're going to warp to Valle de Rio Sprint. Let's see how this thing runs. In 3, 2, 1. Let's go. I forgot to mention, my camera wants to be stupid with OBS. It is a Razer Kio Pro. And a lot of times it doesn't like my OBS recording software. Because even though I reset it numerous times, it doesn't want to actually behave for me like it's supposed to. So I can never figure it out. There's a total mystery. And yet it seems to want to aggravate me by a lot. But anyway, you can see right now this thing is proving itself to be a worthy Porsche. I mean, I might have to upgrade the transmission to a 7. But like... Literally at a base six, this thing is already taking names. Look at that. It's just like casually creeping onto these people by a long shot. I'm already up to second place. I'm about to pass this guy. Can I? Yaz. Yaz Quinn. <laughs> anyway, but no, like, this is three, as I said, this is three by far. My most favorite, ow. How dare you rear my bumper like that. As I said, this is the most craziest and most unique Porsche 911 GT3 RS I own in my garage. Ow, how dare you. Are you trying to be an idiot towards me, bro? Are you trying, my dude? <laughs> are you trying to be a tryhard? <laughs> you are seriously trying to be a tryhard. I know you are. Hit the wall. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I like to roughhouse a little bit, but... Only a little bit. Only a little bit. I don't do it forcefully, and you people know that. All my uh, subscribers, fans, and everybody that actually watches my channel legit know that. Like, blurry. But you see how this thing is taking corners, right? This thing is taking corners at a rather small clip, but it's not, like, the best when it comes to corners. I might have to upgrade the transmission to a 7, but you can see it's performing pretty well. Like, at this point, because, I mean, there's no mistake in the immense power this thing has. Even at over 600 million horsepower, this thing is by far taking all these guys' names and just running it down its own little, like, you know, opponent journal. Boom. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Okay, right now we're at the Horizon Festival of Mexico. I'm going to tune it a little bit differently, see what happens when I put in the 7-speed, and maybe give a little bit more downforce. We'll see what happens. Let's go inside the custom upgrade part. Erase what we have. It's already got 2,800 pounds on it. So, you can probably see what's going to happen afterwards. So, we'll try a 7-speed. We're going to try a little less horsepower peak versus 684 like a 6 
610, 620, 630, if I can manage that, and we'll see what happens. So, let's get rid of all this. Now, let's do some real tuning, shall we? So, let's go ahead and throw in the all-wheel drive that brings it up 4 PI. Uh, let's see, engine swap, 3.8 liter F6 twin turbo. That's 198, that's overkill. The aspiration is 152. Okay. That brings our horsepower up to what? 645. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, nah. Even I find it ridiculous. I mean, I might have to, but we'll come back to it if we have to. So we are going to see about... Oh, wow. That brings up even more. Okay, cool. So we'll keep that. That already has the best rear wing as it is. So we'll leave that go as is. I think that was my other problem. Uh, we are going to do the tires. We are going to raise that. We're going to leave that as is. We're going to raise this to max. Raise that to max. Let's do the 7 speed because we need that. We need the drive line. We need the differential. Yes, please. We don't need that because we got that. That's fine the way that is. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go, let's see, we're going to throw in everything but this. Let's try that. N never mind the throw by, just do all the other guys here, including the flywheel. So let's do that. 19, that's fine. Fuel system, that's fine. Um, exhaust, we are going to do. Uh, camshaft, we won't worry about ignition though, so we can skip this and this. We're gonna do camshaft, 59. And then, let's do, see it's only giving us like, very little PI, but yeah, a boat ton horsepower. So we might actually have to do the weight reduction anyway. So let's skip this and this, get out of there, come to our weight reduction. 900. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. So essentially, it's going to be a very light boy. Let's see where our final stat is. 650. Better. That's much, much better than what I had before. 2,800 pounds. So it's like 198 pounds lighter. 650 versus 670 something. I think my horsepower was a bit of a problem. Plus the grip, plus the tire spacers, all that jazz. Let's pay for this. I'll be right back. Now we come to our custom tuning section. 2.744 to 20.9. Awesome. But before we do that, we're going to go to my tune setup. So I'm going to erase my old tune. Hold on. There we go. Now I got a fresh, clean slate. All right. That comes down to 24. Both is going to say 24. That's going to stay where that is. That's going to come down. Whoa. To a negative 1.2 and a 0. This is going to be a 4 degree for front caster. That's going to come down a little bit to 26.5. This goes up to 26.5. Thank you very much. This is going to come down a little bit. To about there. That's going to go up to close to that with about a 20-something plus difference. So like about there, that's about 40. This is a track vehicle, not a rally vehicle, so we're going to cut this down to about 3.5 and 3.1. That stays. The rest of these go to 7.0 as well, naturally. That stays where that is. It's actually going to go... That's going to go... I think it's going to stay there. Um, down force, we want... Actually, we want to raise that a bit. Let's do about... Let's do about... Let's see. To where that ladder G is at the, uh, 60 mile an hour, it says 1.28. The moment it turns to one two, uh, 1.28. Perfect. 258. Perfect. That stays. That stays. 
These are all going to say 50. Whoops. And then that goes there. That comes down. This comes down as well. And then this is going to... We want a little less rear-wheel drive. A little less. We want it to be closer to the middle. So we're going to do about half the distance between this and 50. So 55. Let's see what happens. 2.8. Perfect. I'll save this. I shall return in about a minute. Okay, not necessarily a minute, but time warp. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Let's go do another road sprint, shall we? Warping there in three, two, one. And here we are at Rocosa Sprint. Let's check out the new changes in three, two, one. Let's go. As you may or may not have noticed, the race we did before and now this guy was actually added to the race library in a recent update. And I believe I did those as a video or a live stream, I forget. But already you can see this thing is a much better performer than the last race because it was having a hard time breaking everything because it's got the porch brakes in there. But, you know, when it comes to, you know, turning and stuff like that, it's actually turning a lot better than the last one I had. I think my biggest problem was that I had a bit too much weight on it, and I think my horsepower was a bit too high. That's my guess. Look at that. I'm ready to lead. So, okay, let's uh, slow down there, pal. Downshift. There we go. And yes, it did throw in the seven speed, as you know. So you can see it's already taking the braking system to a whole new level with the uh, bigger tires and the tire spacers. And, and the fact that we lowered the horsepower down by a little bit because the fact that I had the horsepower at a much rather high overkill level was not what I wanted to do in the first place. But some dumb reason I put in that, uh, what? Twin turbo in there when I shouldn't have, but I will admit that was actually my fault. <laughs> I realized I'm like, okay, let's not. <laughs> like, legit, let's not. <laughs> but, you know, I was able to manage, which is good. But anyway, we're actually doing pretty good. We're doing a lot better this time. All we need to do is get this next checkpoint and cross the finish line. We should be solid gold. And I believe we will. Yes, sir. <laughs> Much better. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, as I said, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash the like button. Comment below your favorite part. And share this with your friends. I will see you guys next time in the next video or short that I post. And it is raining. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. I'm ending the video and it's raining. Okay, you know what? That is too much BS. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe. Take it easy. Bye.